गाइस वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माय सेल्फ मिताली जैन एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट बायोमेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ट्रेनर ऑर्डर कोड इज सेवन वन एट डबल जीरो दिस ट्रेनर किट इज बेसिकली डिजाइन टू प्रोवाइड अ हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस बाय परफॉर्मिंग द डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ मेडिकल डोमेन सच एज ई सी जी एंड मैनी मोर This trainer kit is basically designed to enhance your learning in medical domain. So this is our basically trainer kit. This is our whole setup and there are different accessories are also provided with it. So now we will have a detailed discussion on each and every unit. First of all, this is our main unit. This is the top panel and this is the bottom panel and here we can connect the different modules. this is detachable one so we can remove this and connect the different module in this so now at the top panel at the left side this is the power supply so this is the power supply for plus 12 volt minus 12 volt plus 5 volt and ground and this is variable supply of 0 to 15 volt and this is variable supply for 0 to minus 15 volt and on the top panel this top board is mounted then this is mic amplifier this mic amplifier is used for voice communication and last this is audio amplifier this audio amplifier is also used for voice communication this is essential part and on this panel we have also made the circuit for that and now this is the bottom panel so this is ls card this ls card is basically used in the experiment of ecg and there is a level shifter the input to this will be given through this module then after that this is the computer interface adapter through this we can connect our system with pc interface and at this unit as I, i have already told that we can connect the different module as we have provided you the three modules so now in this experiment these module three modules are used so this is our first module this is our second module and this is our third module so in the first module we can do the experiments of rrm bpm hrm pulse oximeter then after that in third module we can perform the rrm bia experiments and in the second module we can perform the ecg emg eog experiments with this experiment we have provided the different accessories which will be required in the experiments so this is a stethoscope this is stethoscope is basically used to check the heartbeat then this is blood pressure module it offers electronic signal amplification then these are electrode set this is for second module and this is for third module and in this box there are different accessories and in that box there are different probes so this is pulse oximeter probe in this pulse oximeter probe this is photo detector and these are for red led and ir led then after that we have also provided a pc interface cable this is probe for rpm and light detector then this mic is also provided this mic will be connected to our top panel of main unit to mic amplifier and these probes are also provided for pc interface for second and third module now in our first experiment we will study the pulse oximeter its working and its measurement the pulse oximeter is based on the principle of ir light and red light absorption characteristics of oxygenated and deoxygenated hemoglobin so in this experiment we have the requirement of all these apparatus so now first of all we have to attach our first module to our trainer kit then after that we will make certain connection by using these probes on main unit so now first of all we have to connect power supply to the external power supply of module first so now first of all we will connect the plus plus 12 volt to first point then minus 12 volt to third point then 
ground to its second point then after that we will connect the fourth point with fifth point and this pulse oximeter probe with jk2 d connector then after that we have to connect the cro input to sixth point and cro ground to second point so we will connect it to sixth and this to second point this is basically ground then after that we have to make this s1 switch high then after that we will use a multimeter so if we want to take the dc voltage we will connect the multimeter input to tp2 test point second and to get the ac voltage we will connect this to sec sixth point then after that we will switch on the supply of trainer so as you can see that light has been glowed now after that we will note the voltage so for that first of all we have to insert our finger in this pulse oximeter so we have to insert it in such a manner this is photo de detector this is for red light and this is for green light so we have to insert our finger in such a manner that our th nail faces to these led lights red and ir light so now first of all for uh, red light we will switch this sw2 to red light then for red led we have to connect the multimeter input to sixth point for ac voltage and ground to second point so now you can note on the multimeter that when i'll insert my finger so the voltage ranges from 200 millivolt so this things the accurate reading will come when you will practice more and more with this so our ac voltage is approx 200 millivolt then for dc we will connect the multimeter input to tp2 so when i am inserting my finger the voltage is approx 1 volt now we will switch the sw2 port to ir led then we have to repeat the same procedure as we have done for our red led so for dc we have to connect it to tp2 and for ac we have to connect it to sixth point so now for dc voltage when i am i'll insert my finger so you can note that the voltage is approx Both volt, 2.5 or 2.3 volts. And now for AC, we will switch our multimeter to AC mode. So now, when I'll insert my finger, so you can note that voltage is in range of one volt. So now, for our next experiment, we will study the respiratory rate measurement. so in this we have the requirement of a temperature sensor in this all the apparatus required in our experiment first is similar to our experiment 2 the additionally we have required of this uh, sensor this is a probe of rrm so now first of all we will connect these power cables power supply to external power supply of our first module so we will connect the minus 12 plus 12 volt with first point minus 12 volt with third point and then ground with second point so this is our all connections for top panel then we will connect the seventh point to nine ninth point and then eighth point to tenth point and then after that we will connect the thirteenth point to fifth point then after that we will connect the sixth point to a one three point of ls card 
then after that we will connect this probe to the connector then after that we will connect this RRM and lie detector to J3 port J3 socket basically then after that we will connect the voltmeter so we will connect its input to this 13 point and its ground to second point so we have to set uh, the voltage 0 by using this port 2 and this port 1 so as you can see that our voltage is nearly approx to 0 so then after that when i will inhale or exhale in this sensor so our voltage will continuously increase so you have to hold the sensor in this way that there are two holes so you have to cover these two holes and then i will respire like i will inhale or exhale so you can see that when i am inhaling at that point the voltage is continuously increasing so you can perform the same experiment with computer interface also so for that we have to connect the port over here and another point of this to our cpu so in this way we can interface the system with our computer so for that we have provided all the things in our user manual you can refer to our user manual for software so now in our next experiment we will study the working of light detector it is based on the person's skin resistance changes when they sweat so now for that we will make the connection by the probe so we have to connect the power supply with external power supply of module 1 so for that we have to connect the plus 12 volt to first point then minus 12 volt to third point as we have also done this process in our previous experiments also second point to ground and as you can see that I have already connected this probe of lie detector this is the probe of our lie detector I have already connected this to J3 socket and after that we will switch on the supply of kit so now so for that first of all we have to connect this probe S4 switch to left position and after that we have to set this port 3 to that point when red LED stops blinking like it's, it will stop glowing and green LED will start glowing. So through this port you can set that the red LED is not glowing and green LED is glowing and then after that switch it to right position so you have to hold this PC this is our PCB so you have to hold this PCB in this manner so that your thumb will be put at the down and this will be at the top so in this way you have to hold the lie detector then after that you can ask any scaladious questions to your friends then you will see that how the skin resistance drop to you due to perspiration and you will observe that how red LED comes if uh, he will ask any question wrong or something like that. So this is, the, this is the observation which is only applicable in the case of any diligent process or in the diligent person. Now in our next experiment we will study the blood pressure measurement using Korkot's method. So now for calibration first of all we have to make certain connections. So first of all we will connect plus 12 volt to plus 12 volt one first point then after that we will connect the minus 12 volt to third point then after that we will connect the ground to its second point then after that we will connect the 11th point to 9th point and 12th point to its 10th point so in this experiment we have the requirement of this digital multimeter so we will connect its input to 13 point 
and its ground to second point. So, this is our uh, blood pressure module. In this, we have connected it to T socket while one of other two and is connected to pressure sensor located on the panel. And its second and goes to this uh, rappel uh, pressure pad. Then after that, we have to set this SW3 switch to lower. Then we will switch on its supply. Then after by using port 5 and port 2, we have to set the voltage 0 on DMM. So, so it is nearby approx to 0 volt. So, now to operate this uh, machine in this instrument, we have to turn this handle to 90 degree towards right. So, this is the position. Then after that you have to press this pump and you will see that this mercury will goes up to 100. So, you have to set it to 100. So, you can do this in way. So, as you can see that mercury that line is gradually increasing that fluid is going up. So, you have to set it to approx 100. So, as you can see that I have set it to 100. Then set the 100 millivolt on DMM also by using port 5 P5. So, as you can see this is approx 100 millivolt. So, at this point you can note down the voltage. So, this procedure can be repeat twice and thrice. So, you can see the calibration of our system. So, if you want to decrease this level, so you can uh, first of all you have to switch it to another position. Then we have to open this knob. So, you will see that the voltage will drop and this voltage has been drop it to 46 volt. You can also note down this reading. You can repeat the same procedure twice and thrice. So, now for our next uh, process. Now, we have done the calibration for blood pressure. Now, we will uh, have the measurement for blood pressure. So, for that we have to make the certain connection. Rest of the connections are similar as we have done in our previous experiments. So, in this we have to uh, first of all we have to connect this power supply to the external power supply for module. Then after that we have to connect the 14 pin. This is our 14th pin. This we have to connect it to MIC input. This, these are basically MIC input and output and 15th pin to MIC output. Then after that 16th pin this is our 16th pin. So, this 16th pin we will connect it to the top module. Then after that this socket we have connected. This socket is basically for the stethoscope. So, this is our stethoscope. So, this we have connected the socket. Then after that we have to connect A13. This is A13. This, this is A13. This we have connected to our audio amplifier and this we have to short by using it uh, to the probe. So, this is our whole connection. So, here we have to connect the A14 to CH0 channel. So, this is the whole setup we have to do the connections. So, this is the basic setup of our experiment. So, this is blood pressure module, this is stethoscope, this is headphones, this is DMM and this is our main unit. So, this is the whole setup for our experiment. So, now we will proceed our experiment. So, for that I will calculate the blood pressure of my colleague Nikita. So, she will assist me in this experiment. So, the process is that first of all we will switch the main unit. Then after that we have connected the headphone with this. Then after that uh, she will place the headphone on her ear. Then after that we will increase the pressure by using this head pump and we will reach the pressure nearly about 210. Then after that we will calculate the pressure when increase the pressure slowly slowly and then after that we will decrease the pressure by using hand pump knob. So, here the first sound of the pulse at the time press hold button of DMM and that point we will note the reading that is systolic pressure. Then after that the last peak of pulse at that time press the hold button on DMM and note the reading of diastolic pressure. So, in this manner we will calculate the systolic and diastolic pressure. 
So now, first of all, she'll connect the headphone on her ears. Then after that, we will connect this wrappable pad on her hand. So you have to attach this wrappable pad in this way. On the mid of hand, you have to tightly wrap this pad. Then after that, we will increase the pressure by using this hand pump. So now you can see on the blood pressure module, the pressure has been raised to 210. So now at 180, that will be the her systolic pressure. So first of all, we will measure the systolic pressure at which point she is able to hear the sound of pulse rate. So at that point we have to also attach, you have to tightly press this, press it tightly. Then after that the pressure will be decreased. So are you able to hear your sound? Yes, I am able to hear some sound. Okay, so this is the point, this is the point where the systolic pressure is measured. So systolic pressure is about 180. It's nearly about 170 and 180 pressure. So after that, one point will be there when she is not able to hear the sound of the pulse rate. So that point will be diastolic pressure. At that point, we are able to measure the diastolic pressure. So we will slowly decrease the pressure. So diastolic pressure is nearly about 80. So are you able to hear the sound of pulse rate? There is no sound. So okay, so this is all about our uh, pressure measurement. So in this we have taken the two pressures. So first is systolic pressure which is nearly about 170 and another one is diastolic pressure which is nearly about 80. So in this way, we can calculate the blood pressure measurement using the Korkots method. So you can also try the blood pressure measurement by using oscillometric method in which the DMM will be replaced by CRO. So that calculation for the same will be same as we have done in Korkots method. So after, after that, we will proceed to our heart rate measurement. So for heart rate measurement, we will use the electronic stethoscope. That electronic stethoscope will detect the heart sound. So it will be low in intensity and it will be high in harmonics. So now we will proceed to its apparatus, its connections. So as you can see that these connections are similar like we have connected the power supply of external power supply of module 1. So this is the basic step as we have done in our previous experiments also. So now we will connect the 14th point to MIC input. Then 15th pin to MIC output. Then we will connect the 16th point to LS input of top board. Then after that we will connect the LS output on the top board to A13. Then we will connect the A14 output to our channel 0. After that we will connect this a stethoscope probe to J3 socket and this headphone and this headphone to the top panel. So this is our all connections. So as we have done all the connections remember that to short this uh, button using these probes. So remember that we have to short the input and output of audio player, we have to short it. So then after that uh, we will uh, start the proce procedure. So for that now we will I connect these headphones to my ears. Then switch on the supply. 
so you remember one thing we if we want to check that our stethoscope is working or not so you have to tap on this tap yes if you are able to hear your tap sound so it means that your stethoscope is working it will be able to calculate or it will be able to measure your heart rate but if you are not able to then you have to rotate this and then again tap until and unless you will not listen the sound of your tapping so after that we will proceed now i will attach this to my left side so wait for second press little harder mildly like uh, i am able to hear my heart beat with low intensity like i am not able to hear with high intensity so as i have already told that this electronic stethoscope basically detects our heart beat of low intensity i can hear my heart beat but that is of low intensity yes i can hear my heart beat so you can check this method on uh, cro you can check this method on the software so you can proceed these all the procedure are already mentioned in our manual so you can interface it with cro with our computer with your software so this is the process for calculating your heart rate you can also calculate the heart x difference also the formula for that is already mentioned so now we will proceed to our next experiment in this experiment we will study about electromyogram that is emg so for that we have the requirement of two modules so first is our main unit and another one is cro electrodes and patch cords so in this experiment emg basically is electromyogram electromyogram is basically used to measure the potential uh, from a single muscle fiber that is produced by bicepic wave form so now we will proceed to our experiment so this is our module 2 so in this module this is basically used to check the ecg emg eog and this is basically used to study human body by observing underlying biological uh, process using the surface electrode so now we will make the connections on this uh, so we will check the emg so now first of all we will connect its amplifier output first point to input notch then after that we will provide the supply this power supply from the top panel to the module second so we will connect 12 volt to external supply of module then minus 12 volt to sixth point that is minus 12 volt and then ground to its ground so these are connections and one more connections are there in which and then after that we will connect this third point to this ch0 so now we will make the connection by using cro so for that first of all we will connect the cro input to tp3 and ground to its ground on the top panel so now we will connect this is our probe this is basically second module probe so this is basically used to uh, connect the electrodes with the second module so now we will connect this hence this is our all connections we have made now we will connect to our uh, electrodes the surface electrode to our to my left So as you can see in this experiment we have the requirement of these three electrodes these are basically clamp electrodes this is RA RL and LA RA is basically right arm electrode RL is basically right leg electrode LA is ba basically left arm electrode so these are the all electrodes on these electrodes we have to paste a gel like as you can see on this surface we have to uh, like insert a gel like we have to paste a gel over that that uh, gel is basically a water soluble high polymer thicker preservative demineralized water which has neutral ph and through the, here we will connect the leads which we, like uh, we have connected a probe and uh, we will connect its another end in these holes After that, I'll insert all the electrodes on my left arm. So first of all, I'll insert the LA. So LA, then RL, 
and then this is Re. So all these three electrodes I have pasted on my left arm. Then after that I will insert these in my arm. So there is a hole. So you can tie it using this screw. Similarly you can do with another th two also. So I think I have done the wrong one. So wait for a moment. Like this is the basic process you have to insert the electrodes by color checking only by checking its color. So in this way we have to paste all the three electrodes in our left arm. So now as you can see that I have made all the connections with CRO with the main unit and with these electrodes. Now basically AMG provides a good semi quantitative data on muscle use. So when I will move my muscles and when I will make all the connections so you will observe some of the waves on CRO. So let me connect. So as you can observe that there are lots of waveform and when I am moving my arm the waveform is continuously changing. Now we will proceed to our next experiment. In this experiment we will study body impedance measurement. Uh, so this is basically our third module. So here we will use the third module on the main unit uh, in the place of first or second module as we have done in our previous experiments. So now basically body impedance measurement is a technique by which we can calculate the body output voltage by different measurement by using the capacitive and resistive measurement. Now as you can see that this is our main unit we have to make certain connections on our main unit. So first connection is similar as we have done in our previous experiment also. So first of all we have to provide the supply. So supply is basically like we have the top unit we will connect it to our third module. Then after that we have to make certain changes on our panel. So first of all we have to uh, take the R uh, like SW4 switch to high and SW3 switch to low and set this knob to second position that is body signal. Then after that we will connect the digital multimeter. So we will give its ground to 7. Then for capacitive measurement we will connect the DMM input to 6. For resistive measurement we will connect the DMM input to 5. And at this point this uh, 9 pin D type we will connect the probe of uh, module third. By that we will attach all the electrodes. So as you can see now I will attach this pin to here and these end of, these end of the cable I will connect it to electrodes, the surface electrodes which we will mount on our left arm and left leg. You can see that I have connected the electrode, this is ME plus, this is EE plus and similarly I have connected in my leg. So I have connected ME minus and EE minus. So you can note that at uh, we can calculate the body output voltage. So at cap for capacitive measurement the voltage is nearly about 3.3 volts and when for resistive measurement the voltage is nearly about 5 volt. Then after that by using this formula this is body capacitive component body based output simulated output capacitor. So we can calculate the body capacitive component. So our body based output is nearly about 3 volts. So we can mention it and we can calculate the body capacitive component. And similarly we can calculate the body reactive component. So in that the body base output is nearly about 5 volts. So we will put the values and we can calculate the body reactive component. So in today's session we have learned a lot about our medical domain. Medical domain plays a very vital role in our day to day life. Today we have performed the different experiments such as blood pressure measurement, ECG, EMG and many more by using three different modules. These three different modules have their own specification and advantages. So in this session we have learnt a lot. So I hope you enjoyed today's session. For further query you can contact to Tesca Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to our user manual. Thank you for watching.